What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 13 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we completed Iron Island, evolved our Togetic into a Togekiss, and started making our way towards the 7th gym in Snow Point City. And in today's video, we are going to be completing that route, getting to Snow Point City, and maybe doing the 7th gym. We'll see when we get there. We will see how much time it actually takes us. But let's get a move on, hop into our first battle on this route. It is the Ice Route. You know our boy Houndoom is going to be rocking out here. Shouldn't say Houndoom. Should say Shiny Houndoom. He's going to be rocking out here. Doing some work. Pretty much doing all the battles and getting his levels up. But yeah, this playthrough is uh, going pretty well. It is going pretty well. We're rocking out strong. We are going to get some new characters. Or not new characters. New Pokemon for our squad very, very soon. So I'm actually very, very excited for that. To finish up the team and kind of just have that full team ready to go. But of course this guy has a Golduck. Of course he has a Golduck and it makes me... Kind of angry because I want to keep Houndoom in and I really do not feel like swapping him. So we're just going to go for the bites. Maybe we'll get a flinch. We get a crit and we do get that flinch. Yo, my boy Houndoom getting after it. But I was sitting there. I was just like, yo, Houndoom's going to be chilling here. And he's going to be ripping through this ice place. But of course, it's a, a gold that comes out, which is a little rough for us with Aqua Jet. That's real rough for us. That is real rough for us. We take a big chunk of damage. But, yo, if you guys do enjoy the playthrough and enjoy the content on the channel, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing scroll down a little bit click that big red subscribe button and join the community it really does help me grow as a content creator so i thank everybody who supports me but uh let's get moving here does he have another pokemon a pseudo wudo and I, i'll keep pseudo i mean i'll keep my hound out for the pseudo wudo i'll keep him out here give him a little bit of flamethrower action actually it's not very effective why did i think it was super effective looks like we're going back to the bite category hopefully he doesn't drop a rock on me bite's gonna make him flinch anyway let's just make it happen what i say yo what i say Flinches are happening, but yo, our hell dude might go down. I should make sure I have revives before letting this thing go down. Or you know what? Let's just swap it to our floatzel. Let's let's just make things simple. Let's just make things simple. Swap it to our floatzel. Hit this thing with a big old aqua jet. But yo, our team's looking spiffy. We do have a Rylu egg in our party. If you guys were wondering what egg that was, we got that in the last episode in Iron Island. We got that and the shiny stone to evolve Togetic into Togekiss, which is phenomenal. Togekiss is an absolute beast in this game. One of the best Pokemon. For competitive battles if you guys haven't checked out any of my competitive rank double battle videos for bdsp definitely go check them out they are tons of fun and i love recording them for you guys hope you guys are enjoying them as well on the channel it's like i said i'm having a blast recording them and i think the format in this game is phenomenal i just think it's awesome it's definitely a great change of pace besides uh from sword and shield because sword and shield is kind of getting you know a little dull because it's just the same thing we're just going up against the same pokemon at all times but well, he's going to throw out another Pokemon, which is going to be Ponita. And what is up with all the water Pokemon? Like, this is an ice route. Show me some Weaviles. Show me some Snow Runs. Show me some Glalies. All that good stuff. I really do not want to see all these Ponitas and Golduck's on an ice route. Like, get on out my face. We don't want it here. We don't want it here. But Este El Ponita, I love you, but I got to put you down. Got to put you down, little, little horse. Sorry, you're not racing this weekend in the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> But there we go. Take out the trainer. Let's get a move on. Let's put our snowshoes on and get trudging through the snow. But uh, I should actually heal my Houndoom. Houndoom needs to heal. And I did have a few revives. And I do still have super potions left. So let's just, let's just get rid of these super potions, you know. Because I will never buy these things again. Because my Pokemon are higher level. So Houndoom, get back up to full health. Let's roll out and get his levels up. And here's another trainer. Come here, boy. And I love walking through the snow. You can see our little trudge path. Like, look at it. <laughs> He cracks you up. It's just, a, it's just a slight little trudge in the snow. See the little effects that they add like that in this game? Make it so much better. Make it so much better. But there's a nice type Pokemon, Sneasel, over here. And I was going to put Weavile on the scene. I was going to put Weavile on the scene, but I didn't want to overlap the dark types because we already have Houndoom. But Weavile is very good. So if you guys are looking for a great ice type for your team or a great Pokemon for competitive play, Weavile is your go-to. Weavile is 100% your go-to. For competitive, it learns such good moves like Icy Wind for Speed Control, Fake Out for first term flinches also can learn taunt for support mons can hit hard with ice punch and throat chop it's just an all-around beats and it outspeeds basically everybody in the format it might actually be the fastest pokemon in this game i think it might be i'm trying to think of another pokemon that's faster than it, but i cannot cannot put it to mind it's definitely top three definitely top three so you guys are looking for a quick mon that can hit like an absolute truck it's phenomenal but again it's a glass cannon it hits hard it's really fast but obviously it will not be able to soak up shots at all but that's why you just give it the focus, Ash. Gene's tips, baby. Gene's tips. Let's talk to this guy. And he says we can take a nap in his bed. So I'm just going to go, you know, talk to the bed because you can just talk to beds. I want to heal up. So I didn't even need to use potions. I should have known. I beat this game like 50,000 times. I should have known that, uh, oh yeah, we want to use another repel. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. But I should have known. Should have known that we can walk up here and rest. Instead of wasting my dang potions. Instead of wasting my dang potions. And I probably shouldn't have used a uh, a potion there. Or not a potion there, a repel. Because we kind of want to catch these Pokemon. A lot of these guys are new on the route. So I'd love to catch them. But Mr. Mime's going to pop out here. Look at him, yo. Dude, I love how he's just like hitting the Mime, yo. <laughs> Put his hands on the, the fake wall, yo. It's hilarious. His animation gets better and better each new game that comes out. Like, I can just sit there and watch this all day. Look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like, it almost looks like suction cups on his hands, yo. It's cracking me up. Good old Mime. Like, it looks like he's just pulling them off and they're like little squid hands. They're just coming off glass. <laughs> this thing's going to encore my flamethrower. You stupid, dog. You stupid. I do like the encore animation. Just lights on him. Confetti comes out. Then you hear a slight little crowd noise. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do it again. I'm just going to throw out here and go. Oh, this thing. Oh, we can only use flamethrower. I was going to say, we're going to use payback, but he encored me. He encored me. Later, mime. Later, buddy, old pal. It was nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. Get them all out my face. Is that all of his Pokemon? A nice little chunk of XP. And he's going to throw out another one. Show me a uh, Sneasel. Something nice. Show me a Machoke. And we are going to switch into our lovely little Toad Kiss. This thing learned Air, sl Air Slash on Evolution. So, it's going to be able to tee off. It's going to be able to do work. Love being a good old Air Slash. And I should give this Pokemon like a different item. Should give this Pokemon like, I don't even know. Uh, don't I have a Sharp Beak? I might have a Sharp Beak, but I might be uh, thinking of my other game. Because on my other account, my team's stacked. I have stacked Pokemon in that. That's the one I do competitive battles on, so we have all those good Pokemon over there. And thank you to everybody who's been trading me competitive Pokemon. Really does go a long way. It helps me, helps me bring out content for everybody. But let's see who his next Pokemon is. How many does he have? He's about to send out a Sneasel. And this is where we go back into my main man, Houndoom, who's only level 40. Ugh! Ugh! We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Considering we have f level 44s and 43s, Houndoom needs to get his game up. We gotta start using this guy as much as we can. And he's shiny, yo. Dude, it was so hype when we found him. <laughs> Thank you for all the support on that video as well. That video did pretty well on the channel. Everyone was just like, yo, I want to see Genie's reaction to the shiny Houndoom. And it was like out of the blue. It was so weird. So I was sitting there, I was just like, yeah, we want Houndoom on the team. It wasn't even like we were like shiny hunting or just like looking for other Pokemon. It was like, yeah, we are catching this Houndoom no matter what. Comes through shiny. I'm like, bruh, jaw drop it and everything. It was so sick. I was like, no way it's shiny. No way. Even on recording. Thank God it was on recording. Thank God, man. But uh, we're in this grass. You can't find anything because I used a repel. Because I'm stupid. We make our way up to Route 217. Oh, it gets a bit snowy. It gets a bit, uh, get a bit haley over here. And we got a lot of trainers on this route. We got these small trainers, but like I said, we're going to be making our way to Snow Point City. And that's when I'll decide if we're doing that gym or not. The gym is actually decently long. It's, it's, it's a decently long gym. It's not too bad. And you can actually glitch the gym, which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do, considering they actually patched a lot of the uh, glitches in this game in the patch 1.12. Yeah, they, they they patched the whole uh, cloning Pokemon glitch, so people are working on ways to find it again. People are working on ways to find it again, and I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, people find it. But I'm telling you, this game is full of glitches. It's easy to manipulate, and I, I have a feeling that people are going to find cloning glitches yet again very, very soon. Very, very soon. But I was going to actually bring you guys a guide on how to clone Pokemon, and the day that I was putting out was the day of the update. So I was just like, why would I put out this video if you guys can't do it anymore? If you guys cannot do it anymore. So I just like scratched that video. Wasted my time with that one. This thing wants to learn Flame Charge. And uh, I'm just going to keep old moves. I don't really want Flame Charge. I like Flame Throw. We're special attacking. And I do like having Fire Fang. Hell person come out here. And a box I hit nothing. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, I had the whole video recorded out. Edited it. Rendered it. It was ready to go. I was starting to make a thumbnail for it ready to go and then i clicked on pokemon to actually load up and start building a team for uh, another competitive video and i was like there's an update and i was like let me let me look up what this update offers so i looked up what the update has to offer and it was just sitting there i was like yeah you cannot clone pokemon anymore and i was just like yeah screw this video it was a waste of my time even though it didn't take too long to record it was still a waste of my time waste of my space in my pc i should say because it took me like 10 minutes to record not too long to edit but my poor PC was soaking up gigabytes for it. <laughs> but Pelper soaking up some shots. I do love me a good old Pelper. Super sick. Super sick Pokemon. But we're just going to finish off with this lovely little bite. Get them on out of here. Paloops. Paloops. You guys don't know. That's what I call them in competitive battles. Paloops. Paloops. That's just a funny name. 45 for Togi. Jeez, these guys have a bunch of Pokemon on the route. 
Let's see what he's rocking with. A hippopotamus. Get out there, Floatzel. Get out there, Floatzel. Hippopotas. Love this guy. I do love Hippowdog. Very good Pokemon in singles battles. So if you guys are looking for a good ground Pokemon for singles battle, Hippopotas is your go-to. Learn Slack Off so it can actually get HP back. Sets a Sandstorm so it has weather control. I think you can learn Stealth Rocks as well. Really good Pokemon. Really good Pokemon all around. But I'm sorry, Hippopotas. You and your weird eyes are going to have to take this waterfall. And I don't think you're taking it too pleasantly. Look at his little eyes, yo. It's just little weird eyes. <laughs> they look like uh, like cartoon frog eyes. Like a, like a zoo pals. If you guys know zoo pals, then you guys are like the same age as me. But if you do not know zoo pals, you're too young. You are way too young. But uh, they look like zoo pals. I'm not even going to explain what zoo pals are. You just had to be there. You just had to be there. But there's a trainer right in this little uh, in this snow here. If you see little bumps, tackle them on. They're not too hard to fight. We can get after these fools. We can get after these fools. But the cool part about Snow Point City... Oh, this guy, dude. What is up with all these dudes having like four or five Pokemans? Like, get on out of my game. Just trying to go through the route. Usually, it's like one or two and I can deal with it. But, yo, all these Pokemans? Come on, man. Well, we got our Zubat Killer out here, which is going to be our lovely little Houndoom. Nice lovely Flamethrower. We'll just take it out one shot. But back to what I was saying about Snow Point City is eventually when you get there... You're not, you're not allowed to do it till the post game, but they have that temple, the Reggie Genghis temple, which I think is so sick. You have to get all three of the Reggies, Reggie's Ice, Reggie's Steel, and Reggie Rock to actually obtain Reggie Genghis or get the chance to actually catch him. You need all three of them to actually get into the temple. Well, no, you can get into the temple post game, but but you cannot access or battle Reggie Genghis until you have all three of them in your party. And in this game, they have the Raminus Park, which is actually like pretty easy to get the legendary, so they made it easier for you guys to get it. But back in the day when Pokemon Diamond and Pearl originally released, in order to get Regigigas, you would have to have uh, Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire and transfer those Pokemon in your DS. You would have to have Pokemon Diamond and Pearl in the top slot of your DS, and then the other game in the bottom part of your DS and transfer them through. Granted, all the Regis in the Gen 3 were actually tough to get. They were actually really tough to get. You would have to like go through a whole process, read like holographics and stuff, or holographics, however you pronounce it. Uh, holographics, graphics, that's how you pronounce it. But uh, yeah, you would have to read all that, get certain Pokemon, and do some crazy stuff in order to catch those Pokemon. So it was a pain in the neck to get those Pokemon. And then you had to go through the process of transferring them, which was another pain in the neck to get Regigigas. So in order to get Regigigas in the old games, it was very, very tough. But this game, they dialed it down for us, made it a bit easier. Yo, I miss getting the Regigigas. because I remember, like, I would have never found it out unless I looked stuff up, obviously. Because if anybody remembers, like, the OG way to get the Regis, it's just like, it was a pain. It was a pain. Like, who figured that out first? Read this stuff. Get a Relic Camp. Do this. <laughs> it's like, bro, what you mean? It was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. But we take out that trainer. Let's move on to uh, Skier Sam over here. That sounds like a good name. That sounds like that could be his name. And I was saying since, like, episode one, we've been trying to guess people's names. Come on, Skier Sam. Skier Sean. Dude, we were so close. We were so close. Skier Sean over here. Get out my face, Skier Sean. Get him on out my face. Snover's going to pop out here. It's going to be an easy KO. Four times super effective with fire moves here. So Houndoom is thriving. He's ready to run. This guy has four Pokemon as well. What you mean, dude? What is up with these trainers, yo? Stacking up their Pokemon. They're like, yo, Jeans is coming. We're just going to catch a bunch of Pokemon. They're not going to be good Pokemon, but we're going to have a lot. These guys are the quantity over quality guys. Where, where you know your boys quality over quantities. Always. Always, always, always. Golduck's gonna come out here? Yo, what is going on? Time to bring out my giant turtle. My giant turtle. With a tree on its back. Don't forget to mention a tree on its back. But yo, if you guys haven't checked out my streams, definitely check out my streams. Name is on the face cam and link is down in the description below. We've been streaming so much. Doing viewer battles, viewer trades, all that good stuff over there. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out. But the reason I brought up the stream is because recently we had a conversation on stream, which was hilarious. So it was, uh, which starter would win in a fight? Inferni, Empoleon, or Tortella? Like real life fight, which means all these Pokemon turn into their real life form. So it's a monkey, a full grown emperor penguin, or a giant snapping turtle. Who would win a fight? And we were talking about this. This one was actually really, really close. It was really, really close. Like the monkey obviously has got some, got some beef on that thing. Like a monkey can put up a fight. Those things are vicious. Those things are vicious. Snap a turtle can definitely do some work. Hard, hard to get through, hard to hurt, you know? But things got a powerful jaw. Can take things out in one bite. And then an emperor penguin, 
they get up to about four feet tall. That's pretty, that's, that's about the size of a monkey. They might be bigger than a, a full grown monkey. You know? We're not talking gorillas, we're talking monkeys. Now, I want you guys to actually let me know in the comment section down below, you guys, the answers. But a penguin has razor sharp teeth, and I believe they have claws. And they can swim like a torpedo. Those things fly in the water. And their fins gotta weigh like 10 pounds, right? That's a big fin. Imagine getting slapped by that. Imagine getting slapped by that. But yeah, I'm on the borderline of like who's gonna win. I was thinking turtle. I was thinking Sapper Turtle could, you know, just put up a good fight, put up a little bulk in his shell, defense out. But people were saying, yo, dude, what else is the penguin or the monkey just walks up there and, you know, gives one of these and just like flips the turtle on its back. And I was like, yo, that's a valid point. Turtle's out for the count there. He's done. He's done for. He can't do anything. But the real question is, is the turtle uh, going to allow the monkey or penguin to get that close and flip it on its back? But yeah, I'm borderline. I'm borderline on all of these. I'm borderline on all of these questions. Like, we were talking about the other starters, too, and we are just like, oh, all the other starters, if we put them in real-life situations, they would be pretty easy to figure out who's going to win. Like, obviously, Charizard would beat up a turtle, a water turtle, and a plant. And then, like, Feraligator would beat up the other two. Like, it was pretty simple. But this is the only gen that kind of has, like, a, a valid, you know, battle going on here. So I think it's funny. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But we are trudging through the snow. Yet again, uh, any other trainers on this route? We got another Pokeball. Howdy. And we have this house up here, which I believe gives us a decent item. Let's see what it gives us. I believe something's up here. Is it Rock Climb? It might be Rock Climb. Let me see what you got, buddy. Might be Rock Climb here. Oh, no. He lost his TM Rock Climb, and it's I believe it's this Pokeball like right outside this house. So let's go check it out. Hello, Mr. Pokeball. Would you like to use another? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll use another. It's fine. It's fine. The Pokemon that we that are here, we really do not want too much. So we should be thriving. We should be fine with thriving. Rock Climb is now in our hidden moves, and we are going to get moving along here. Oh, yo, there's another trainer. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Stop skiing. Uh, skier Samantha. Right here. This is going to be your guess. We are going to get it here. Skier Samantha. It's got to be Samantha. Give it to me. Give it to me. Lexi. Yo, what kind of skiing name is that? What kind of skiing name is that? Get on out my face, yo. And what is up with the water Pokemon on the ice route? Water and fair. No, we need ice Pokemon on the ice route. I guess there's like not enough ice Pokemon. So they're just like, oh, water's our next best thing. So might as well throw that out. Bite's gonna fire. It's not very effective, but should do. Mm, I thought it was gonna do half. I thought it was gonna do half, but we do get a nice, lovely, uh, lovely little flinch. And how do we might go down here? Should I swap? I feel like a zoom rail is gonna come out here. Yeah, we're gonna swap it to a Torterra. Just hit some Mega Drains up here. Get some HP back. Houndoom, get on back here. Get on back here. Big turtle coming out here. I love how it has spikes in his back and on the side of its face. Play rough flying. That's easy eats, baby. Good thing we did swap. I think our boy would have went down there to that in the buffet. Sounds sounds like uh sounds like a death to me. This must be your wallet. Yep. Well, then take it. Oh, but that's not my wallet. <laughs> Hands down, one of the greatest SpongeBob quotes of all time. Like, I say that just like randomly. I'll just be with my boys and I'll just be like, oh, but that's not my wallet. <laughs> well, the best is when somebody sets me up for the joke. When like we're all hanging out and everyone's getting ready to leave. Hey, yo, whose wallet is that? Oh, but that's not my wallet. <laughs> well, Fairy's going to fly out here for Lexi's final Pokemon. You know, we are just going to give this thing the big, big EQ. We ain't playing games right now. EQ coming out here, and EQ is so strong. It is so strong. Especially when it's stab. Like, look at that. It's just GG's. It's just GG's with EQ. EQ is hands down one of the best attacking moves in Pokemon. Hands down. Phenomenal. Level 44 for Floatzel. Get them levels. Houndoom's up to 41. We gotta get him up a little bit higher here. Gotta get him up a little bit higher here, and I might rock a potion. Might rock a potion here. Let's see. Pokemon. Go here. Let's heal you up. Why'd I go into my box? Why'd I go into my box? Just want to go here, restore, and, you know, get rid of these super potions. He only really needs one. I'm not going to waste another one on him. Autobots, roll out. Let's go. Where's the next route? Is it up here? This looks like the right way. Howdy, buddy. Howdy, Fighter Johnson. Come here. Yo, you going to battle me? He's, like, sitting here, like, looking around like, yo, where's everybody? You see me in front of you. Just battle me, buddy. You are challenged by Black Belt Luke. What you want, fool? What you want, dog? He's going to send out Krogunk and... It's gonna be easy whooping. This is going to be easy whooping. Krogunk wants to smoke. He wants all the smoke. 
pull out a flamethrower, and I think a flamethrower should kill it, but I don't know why. I feel like it's not going to. Flamethrower pops. Okay, it does. Beautiful. Mwah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But yeah, I think our levels might be like the same now on par with uh, the gym leaders. They might be, uh, what's called might be, uh, they might be higher than my Hound, dude. But I think like my 45s and 44s, my Float Swords Terror and Togekiss, I think they're going to be rather on the same page. I think they are going to be on the same page here. And... We actually might get a new Pokemon towards our team today. We might get a new Pokemon towards our team today. I'm not too sure. We shall see. But we are like... Within like the next two episodes, our team will be fully done. Like we're we're just about ready to get our Pokemon for the squad. Which is pretty awesome. Which is pretty awesome. But let's do this. Level up our Tor -tor Torterra. Torterra now wants to learn Crunch. And I kind of want to give him Crunch. Actually, nah. I don't really want to give him Crunch. I was going to give it to him, but we have Houndoom. Houndoom's our dark guy. He's really there. Onyx is going to come out here. Let's switch it into our... Mm. Let's go into uh, Torterra here. Onyx is pretty beefy on the defensive side, so I'd rather go into somebody with a special attacking move, such as Mega Drain. But you know, your boy's always thinking. Ever since I started doing like competitive battles, like I always think so differently. Like back in the day, I would just be like, oh yeah, let's just go into a grass move. Now I'm like, oh, let's go into a special attacking grass move. Or a special attacking super effective move. Like, a lot of thought process going in here. This guy's obviously sturdy. What you mean? We gotta finish him off. We gotta finish him off here. Let's finish him off. Do, 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 do. And Santum is going to fly. Santum is going to fly. And that's just going to put us in a nice little tomb over here. You're trapped by quicksand. Come on, man. What you mean? That's totally fine. That is totally fine. I'm just going to go down to Buffets. And we're thriving. I think that was his only other Pokemon, right? Or is this guy stacked up with like 55 Pokemon? Houndoom gets level 42. That's beautiful. Love to see it. And yep. Black Belt Luke. Get on out my face. Let's head towards Snow Point City. I believe uh, that might be all the trainers on this route. So if that is all the trainers on the route, that could be dandy for us. Nope, we got another one. I lied. I lied. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So I was going to say, if that was all the trainers on the route, we will rock out and we will go towards uh, the next gym. But we're going to go in here. We're going to go face off against this Roselia over here. And what is this? A gra like, why is grass out in the ice? Like, grass is super effective to ice. It makes no sense. The only grass Pokemon that should be out here is Snover because he's part ice. And a bomb of snow, obviously. But you know, Flamethrower's gonna pop. And yo, know, these Pokemon seem like they're gonna be high level in the gym. Because these guys are level 37. At least we to think they're at least five, six levels ahead of them, right? Right? Maybe, maybe seven. Usually the route Pokemon are pretty low. They're usually a pretty low level. He's about to send out a Sea King. Yeah, we definitely gotta get Torterra out here. We ain't dealing with these water types. Is this thing part flying? I think it might be part flying. I don't know why I say that. I know it learns like peck and stuff. But I know it's not just water type. It has another typing to it. Seeking. I love it. Send a razor leaf here. Say GG's. Hopefully we connect. We do. For some reason that's a 95% accuracy move and it misses all the time. It's like heat wave. Like it's crazy how much heat wave actually misses. Tokus gets a level, yo, 46, yo. Tokus is flying up on the board. I've barely been using her. She's leveling up just as much as Houndoom. Which is pretty nuts. We take her cash, 25 hundo beans. We start making our way towards the next gym. I think that's the end of the route. There is the lakefront. Uh, can we go inside of here yet? I think it might be blocked off. Let's talk to him. How you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. There's nothing anyway. If anything were to happen, it's in my hands. Blah, blah, blah. I got trusty Pokemon with me. Blah, blah, blah. So he's just basically telling us, hey. Nothing's going on here. You start making your way towards the gym. I'm like, all right, let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. We're trudging through the snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to use another repel. We are going to repel here and we're going to get moving. There's no trainers on this route. There's just a Pokeball up there, which we will get later. And we make our way to Snow Point City. To Snow Point City, which is lovely, which is dandy. I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon. And I believe we can just fight the gym straight off the rip here. So let's heal up our Pokemon and then start tackling some other things that we want to do. So guys, we healed up our Pokemon to full HP, and instead of doing a gym, I have decided we are going to catch a new Pokemon for our squad. We are going to go catch a new Pokemon for our squad, and he's actually a pretty rare Pokemon, so we're going to be doing the gym in the next episode, and this will pretty much set us up really, really well for the next few episodes, because if we can have our uh, a new Pokemon on our team, we can just roll through and go to the next gym after this. So I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. Next episode, we do this gym, and then we start making our way towards the next gym, and then in the next episode, we can do another gym. So it's just going to be back-to-back -back gyms. Yeah. 
we gotta go mine real quick. Get this stuff real, real quick. Let's see if we can find something cool. Let's see if we can find like a rare stone or something. Because mining's always fun. But, oh yo, look at that. Ooh. But like I was gonna say, we need to find, I think it's the icy cave. I think he spawns an icy cave or the whiteout cave. So we're gonna go look for them over there. After we, you know, get our stuff and things. But we did get an electric statue. Hopefully it's something cool. And where's our last gem at? I mean, my last gem. This thing is just like not having it. Bunch of stones over here. Is it up here? I, feel, I feel, have feelings right here. Nope. Don't. Where is it, yo? What you mean? Dude, I think if you, uh, if you don't find the gems or the items inside of the thing, they should at least show you what you missed out on. I think that'll be funny. Like, you miss out on something good. You're just like, oh, man, what you mean? Come on. <laughs> I just think it'd be super funny. But let's see what statue we got. This little electric statue. Show me a little Pikachu statue. But I feel it's Ampharos. I don't know why. Oh, little rope time. Little Mo. Little Momo over there. Little Momo over there. And I keep hitting the wrong button. But let's do this one and then start heading towards the cave that we want to go to. Dun, 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 dun. Let's find this stuff. Ooh, double jam. Found it. Found two. Early on. These are big ones. These are big ones. I think I could just do this. Yep. Can I just do this? We'll split around. Uh, let's just hammer. Beautiful. Come here. There's two jams, and we have plenty of time left. Actually, finding other things. And what is this? Is that an electric stone? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's a little electric stone. Yo, we find some goodies today. We find some goodies today. Where's this last one at? Where you at, Johnny? Where you at, Johnny? I have a feeling it's right here. Nope. I don't think we're going to find the last one. It's got to be behind this rock. Nope. Are you over here? Start slowly picking away. See if we can at least see it. Is it up here? Nah, we lost it. We lost it, but yo, not a... Oh, we didn't even get that other gem. What am I doing? We didn't get that green gem. We didn't fully mine it, but it's all good. We got the Thunderstone. The Thunderstone is more important than, than the other two. But let's head into this biome right here and see if it's the one that we're looking for. Let's see if it's the one we're looking for. It is the Icy Cave. So we can find our Pokemon here. And he's a rare spawn. Like I said, he's a rare, rare spawn. So we're going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth again until we find this Pokemon for our team. Because I want him so bad. I want him so bad for a squad. E, so many Pokemon. There is a Glalie right there. Glalie's sick. Look at Glalie, dude. He's huge, yo. He's huge. He is a huge little Pokemon. Keep going back and forth and back and forth. Like I said, the back and forth process doesn't stop. We got to dodge all these Bronzongs and stuff. And if we do battle these Pokemon, I do not mind, you know, just like hitting them up, getting XP. Because like I said, our Pokemon, Pokemon needs the levels. But we are going to be trying to dodge as much as possible because we do not just want to sit here and battle and battle. So like I said, this Pokemon's rare. So we're going to have to be going in and out a lot. Oh my God. Holy Bronzongs, dude. Or Bronzors, dude. They're just swarming me. These dudes are just swarming me. There's a lovely little Bronzor. And let me just take it out. You know, how do can rip it up with a good old flamethrower? Get some mean XP. I should probably, like, try to find a lucky egg for this thing. The flamethrower popping out. These guys are level 39, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Flamethrower pops. And nothing eats, man. This thing's a tank. Absolute tank. Good old Bronzor. Absolute tank. Gotta love this guy. Gotta love him. Flamethrower's gonna pop. Oy. Send it. Send it, baby. Later, Bronzor. Get him on out my face. Get him going. He drops down. He's dead. Bum, 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 bum. Let's move on. Do we find our Pokemon? Nope. Just, oh my god. What is this? Five Bronzors? And of course, this one's like blocking my path. He's like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> I'm a Bronzor. <laughs> Just chilling there. God dang, yo. These things are so annoying. Things are so annoying. I thought these things were uh, defensive tanks, not special defense tanks. They might be both, so let's try Fire Fang here. Let's see if Fire Fang can do some work. Yeah, these things are defensive tanks all day. Look at that. Soak that up. Soaked it up. Metal Sound's gonna pop. He's gonna drop my stats. Get this dude on out my face. We don't like him one bit. We don't like him one bit. Special defense harshly drops, and Flamethrower is going to pop to finish this thing off. Yeah. Get him on out of here. Gone. What? Give me a burn. Thing eats up. Yo, this thing is a total tank. Let's try bite. Let's try bite. Even though flamethrower is going to do the most damage out of all my moves. Out of all my moves, flamethrower would do the most damage, but I don't think we fight the bronzers anymore. I thought we'd be one tapping the bronzers. They don't really give us that much XP. I don't really see it being worth it, but back on the grind. Back on the grind here. We might want to switch to that big one because I think we can find them in that big one 
there might be a rare chance or a better chance to find them. But Bronzors are just here. Benaris, Bronzors. We did find a Glalie, which is pretty cool. And more Benaris here. But post game, it's obviously easier to find the rare Pokemon. But since we are not post game, chances are chances are high to find the, find the boy that we want. Leave me alone, Benaris. Oh my lord, Benaris. Benaris, Benaris, Benaris. I think we're gonna go like one or two more tries, and then we're just gonna head to that uh, the big whiteout biome. I think that's the play. I think that more more Pokemon will spawn there. We will have a higher chance. And never mind. There's our boy, rare boy, spawning Snow Run over here. Show me shiny. That would've been amazing. But yo, we need a female snow run. We need a female snow run. Come here. Be female. Be female. Need you to be female. Come on, snow run. Do me good. Do me good. Let's go. Let's go. Female snow run on the thing. And we have no Pokeballs. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to bring this thing down on health. How much are we doing? Okay, we can bite it again. That's wonderful. He's going to roll out. Dude, this thing can kill me. This thing can kill me. It has rollout, which gets stronger with each hit. Let's bite him again. Let's bite him again here. Now, the reason we need a female, if you guys were wondering, is only female uh, snow rides can evolve in the frost class, and that is who we want on our team. And that is who we want on our team. Oh, dude, we have no Pokeballs. We're going to have to hope we catch this thing with this Ultra Ball right here. Come on, yo. Come on. Yes. Oh, my lord. What do you mean? Do we have anybody that can put Pokemon to sleep? Something like that. We do. What do we do? We're out of Ultra Balls. Pokeball, we have a Dust Ball. We, oh, dude, we have, what is that? Four total Pokeballs? Pokeball. Let's go. Normal one, yo. I do not want to mess up with the snow run here. Come on. Mm, no. No, no, no. We, I think Dust Ball can get the job done. But, yo, we're moving on to Great Ball here. Let me see my Pokemon. Let's see the moves that we have. Mmm. Mmm. And then Egg Boy. And then Egg Boy. All right, yo. Great Ball. Here we go. We actually only have one Dust Ball. So Great Ball's going to come out here first. Come on, yo. Help me out. Help me out. What you mean? No way we have no Pokeballs. No way we have no Pokeballs. Do it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Ah, all right, dust ball. All right, let's focus in here, jeans. Yeah, one dust ball left to do this. It all comes down to this. This one goes out to the community. Let's do it. After running out of Pokeballs on our last snow run, I found three male snow runs, which we do not want. We want a female one like we have here. Finally, we were able to find one, which is awesome. Let's bite it down. Let's catch this one. I can't believe I didn't come prepared on that last one. Cannot believe it. I just cannot believe it. Icy Wind's going to pop through here. Going to slow us down. I do not think I can hit this Pokemon again. I really don't think I can hit this Pokemon again. It dropped our speed, but I don't think we can hit this Pokemon again. I'm going to start hucking Ultra Balls. I bought 31, so 31 should be enough to get ourselves this lovely little snow run on the squad. Watch, the first one's going to catch it. Yo, this is whack. This is so whack. This is so whack. All of our other Pokeballs didn't work when this thing was on red. Now we throw one Ultra Ball at it, and we catch it while it's on yellow, almost green. Hey, yo, but we take those, though. Adding snow run to the squad, we can evolve him at any time, which is pretty cool. We can evolve Snow Run at any time. Let's go up here and uh, pretty much finish up the episode. But I really want to see uh, what the Snow Run stats are. We can evolve him at any time because I think we have a Dawnstone, don't we? We have a lovely little Dawnstone. If not, I know exactly where to get one. We can get one next video. Or we can get one whenever we want to evolve him. But yo, there's our boy Snow Run. So we do not have a Dawnstone right now. Like I said, I can get. I know exactly where one is. So we can get him whenever. He has a quiet nature. And... That's okay. Quiet's not bad. Special attack goes up. He has a special attacker, but we would rather have a little bit of speed. Does have inner focus, which isn't bad. And then it moves his icy wind, frost breath, bite, switch root. Not too bad. Definitely gotta give this thing better moves when we evolve it. Obviously, when we evolve it, I will evolve it probably in a little bit, but not in this video. Probably in the next video. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we are probably gonna be getting our sixth and final Pokemon for our team, beating the seventh gym and possibly evolving Snow Run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.